Hi, and welcome back to Epic Restorations. Winter in West Michigan is in full gear, and our Model A build is picking up steam. Today, we're gonna reattach the rear leaf spring into the cross member of the frame, replace all three of our radiator hoses with new ones, and go over the front brakes and bearings. We've had enough unexpected surprises with this chassis, so we're gonna do our due diligence and go through anything that we have questions about. With the body off the frame, it's the perfect time to look things over. And on a cold winter day, there isn't a better place to be than in a heated barn working on a Model A. So, let's get to work. We began the day by reattaching the rear leaf spring into the cross member of the frame. Previously, our Model A had the import U-bolts which are longer than the original style. When we pulled them off and ordered replacements, we went with the original Ford-sized ones. Unfortunately, this meant that our rear spring clip bars would also need to be replaced as well. With 10 leaves on our springs, we ordered the 5 8 inch ones, and those fit perfectly. To finish up, George tightened down the castle nuts and replaced the cotter pins. I found something about over tightening these and not to get them too tight because your spring still moves in here. Next, we moved on to the radiator hoses. Our hoses aren't too bad, but a new set of hoses is fairly cheap and easy to replace. Because we're gonna replace our original style petcock with a replacement style one and attach it to a new water pipe, we figured it'd be a good time to just go ahead and change them all out. We opened the petcock and began draining the antifreeze out of the radiator. It takes a while for all the fluid to drain, so we moved on to the front brakes while the radiator emptied itself out. We began by removing the tires. A simple flathead screwdriver will help you to remove the hubcaps. Once the caps were off, we got a look inside and we found our next surprise. Each tire was held on with only three lug nuts, 
rather than the five that should have been on them. A few minutes later, the tires were off the car and on the floor. Next up, George began tearing into the front wheel hubs. We pulled the front brake drum off and got our first look at the front brakes. George pulled both the inner and outer bearings and repacked them with grease. We were already in there anyway, so it didn't hurt to just do it so that we knew it was done and done the way we wanted it. With the bearings freshly packed, we put everything back together and reattached the front brake drums. Next up came the water pipe. Being brass, I might not, not absolutely had to have it. We ordered up a replacement water pipe and attached the newer style replacement petcock to it. This solid brass petcock isn't an exact copy of the original, but it comes highly recommended by Snyder's and shouldn't leak. Um, it will be on there like this. This is the forward edge. The water pipe itself sits between the bottom neck of the radiator and the motor inlet on the side of the block. Before the new water pipe could go on, we'd need to loosen the hose clamps and remove the old one. Once the water pipe was ready, we attached our new radiator hoses. These hoses are supposed to be among the best hoses you can buy for the Model A. They aren't the original black radiator hoses with the red rubber tracer running through them, but they are red in color like Ford used. We didn't get too fussy with the hose clamps themselves and just went with some more modern clamps that we already had in the shop. If you're planning on replacing your radiator hoses, you'll need two larger two inch ones for the top and four smaller one and three quarter inch ones for the bottom hoses. Overall, we had a pretty productive day at the shop. We knocked out three important tasks on our to-do list and we've gotten a few steps further along on our journey to restore the car. Join us next time as we continue our wintertime work as we get closer and closer to restoring this classic Ford Model A on the next episode of Epic Restorations.